all in all, I'm trying to calm down. So my friend Amber is like, Victoria, play some calming music. So I start playing this weird Beethoven stuff in the aux. And Simone's like, bro, like, what is this? Like, it was so loud. And then I start play playing these rain sounds. And I'm just in the front seat, like, in the passenger seat, like, what is going on? I'm trying to play something to kind of calm everybody down. And it starts to kind of get crazy after that. Hey y'all, it's Victoria Armani. I'm back with another video. Today we're coming with a Chick-fil-A, as you can see, um, mukbang. So, um, this is also a story time tied into as well. So, I'm going to eat, I'm going to take out a story, and we just going to get into it. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start eating. So, I have a just a regular original chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. <clears throat> I have some tenders, nuggets, fries, um, macaroni over here. I tried the macaroni already um, just now and it is fire. I also have a frosted lemonade and just some water. And the sauces that I have, I have Chick-fil-A sauce, sweet spicy sriracha, ranch, Polynesian, and the honey roasted barbecue or whatever it's called. So, y'all, I'm about to um, eat a little bit and then I'm gonna get into the story time of, I'm all, of how I almost died. So yeah, I hope everybody is like doing well and taking care of themselves. Uh, make sure you take your vitamins, drink your water, and stay home. And if you do have to go out, you know, to go to the grocery store and all that stuff, just make sure you social distance and this will be over before we know it. Alright? I'm like starving. Um, only thing I had today was an acai bowl. And that was around three o'clock, and now it's nine. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. Chick Fil A does have some fire chicken tenders. They're like amazing. Does anybody else do like a happy dance when you finally get some food and you like have been starving all day? That's me. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this macaroni though. Mm. I kid you not, Chick Fil A got them some. They got them some now. Mm. No cap. Okay. Um, <sighs> all right, so let's go ahead and get into the story time. Um, if you read the title, of course, you know what the story time is going to be about. Um, and it's kind of funny because this happened um, last year, 2019, around the same exact time. <laughs> April 24th, 25th-ish, um, me and my girlfriends, we went to LA, uh, California to um, celebrate with my friend's birthday. So we went out there, flew out there, and it was gonna be like a little girl's trip, get away. Um, and the whole trip overall was fun, um, seeing just some nice stuff. Went to these different places, museums, um, restaurants, and uh, we went to see the to see the Hollywood sign. Everything was cool, except for the first day. Um. Oh, if you don't know, Chick Fil A has a sauce, a sweet and spicy sriracha sauce. It's like fire. 
Um, it's basically the same thing as like the Polynesian sauce, but it has like red pepper or jalapeno in it or whatever. So, fun fact. Yum. Um, so, back to the first day. <laughs> so, since we had gotten to the hotel kind of early, or since we had gotten to LA kind of early, we weren't able to check into the hotel just yet. Um, because you know, usually check ins at hotels like either two, three, or four, and that's like the latest you can, or the earliest that you can check in. Unless typically sometimes you may be able to check in, they may let you check in early. It just depends on circumstance and where you're going. Um, so we had our car, our bags in the car, and we went to go get something to eat. We went to uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, House Chicken and Waffles. Um, it was delicious, if you were wondering. Um, and then we're all kind of sitting at the table, kind of thinking about what we're gonna do next. Um, after sitting at the, uh, the restaurant and eating, I believe it's time we can we can check into the hotels. We didn't do anything after that. Um, we drove around like um, the area just to kind of you know see some views and all the other stuff. Um, but I think it was time for us to check back check in at the hotel. So we went to the hotel, kind of relaxed a little bit and try to figure out what we're going to do next. Um, and it was, since the, it was the day that we got there, we wanted to kind of relax and just get something to eat, and then. Um, go back to the hotel whatever we can do something later on at night whatever we didn't we didn't know we were just kind of like going with the flow oh i don't know who idea it was no it wasn't mine um should go <laughs> and get some weed okay some marijuana okay so it wasn't my idea um and i don't do anything honestly i'm like a good girl i don't smoke drink do any drugs or anything like that um i do drink it's gonna be like a strawberry daiquiri something real light you know not anything too hard too heavy um i don't do any drugs or smoke any weed or do anything like that we found a dispensary and i was like oh i'm talking to my, my friend tiana i'm like oh they have edibles let me buy some on an edible who was the birthday girl they have this cute little edible, it's like a Rice Krispie, but it was it had like a um, design on top shaped, and so shaped like a birthday cake. So I'm like, yeah, um, let's go have and get, get us an edible. Mind you, Rice Krispies, it was like this big, I want to say. Not, not too big, and mind you, it's five of us. Five. Okay. Um. And I'm talking to my friend Tiana. I'm like, hey, let's get some one for herself. Um. And then we can get one. We can all split it just to kind of taste it or whatever. And we look at the flavors and the dispensary. Meanwhile, like my other friends are like kind of seeing what like weed is there and other little stuff like that. So. Tiana and I are looking at like the uh, edibles. So mind you, we see this one that's called strawberries and cream. It's called a Mellow Bar. 100 milligrams of THC. And the um, flavor of strawberries and cream. So Tiana's like, oh, let's get one of these. We can split it down and um, pay for it. <clears throat> like split it in half and pay for it that way. Get one of these so we can all try it and then give one for Simone for herself. I'm like, okay, bet. So luckily we didn't end up getting Swam Simone one by herself because she probably would have died. Um But yeah, so we ended up getting that one. Which I'm gonna have a picture of it here so you can see how it looks and um yeah so i have a time on here when we bought it i we bought this at 5 20 in the evening we got the um rice crispy at um 5 25 in the evening and mind you we're like oh we're all gonna just eat like a piece a little bite off of it or whatever 
and just kind of see what it do. See, see what it if it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? So, um, mind you, it is five of us. So, let me just put that out there. Since I did say that I don't do anything, my tolerance for everything is kind of low. Um, pain tolerance, alcohol tolerance, like I, I, I can't. I don't do any of those things. So it's like my tolerance is really, really low, and I can't. I can't take it. So, um, it's five of us and we all are like in the car driving around to kind of see the, you know, the scenery and all the other good stuff and still figuring out what we're going to do. Um, and at this point, I want to say we were driving around, uh, we had all taken a bite of the Rice Krispie, by the way, at this point. Um, and I want to say we all like kind of decided that we were going to just like, um, walk around and see what was going on like we went and parked at this i don't remember where it was we went and parked at just one spot and kind of just walked around la downtown la and um we were trying to find something to eat um so that's what we did we walked around and we were like walking up um la in la there's like hill it's not really necessarily a hill but it's just like there's just streets that are elevated so the streets are kind of going up like this. So like it's funny to at this point like everything's kind of already set in, okay? Um, so yes, so it's like wild. I'm like, what is actually going on? Um, so yeah, so we're like walking around, going to the going here, going there, trying to figure out what we're gonna eat. Um, we didn't have an idea in our head. We're just going, going here, going there, seeing whatever sounds good looks good to us. Um, so then we decided on this one place that was like a like a little cute little outdoor indoor bar situation. They have bar food and drinks, of course, like that. Um, so that's where we went. And at this point, I don't know exactly what time it was. Um, oh wait, I have a time. I have a picture of myself at the restaurant. At this time, it is now. 17 an hour and a half later from when we first started chomping okay it like got real real quick I was like what is going on my body I can't do this um so my friend is like ordering um us food and you know like ordering us like bar food like wings nachos fries cheese sticks fried pickles you know like regular bar food um so i'm like okay cool so we're all about to kind of eat like a, like a little appetizer plate and we kind of pick off and you know which you usually do like at a bar or a restaurant so i'm like okay perfect perfect I'm like starving and I feel really bad. My body is feeling really weird. Um, also, let's order like five waters because I'm like thirsty as ever. So, I'll get my water. And me, like in April in LA, it wasn't like too hot. It was more like because um, we're going like in the springtime. So, it's not too hot out there. It's actually kind of cold, especially at nighttime. But I'm like super dehydrated. I'm like going through the waters like crazy. I'm like, what is going on with my body? And so, at this point in my life, I kind of knew, it felt like I was about to die. Like, I honestly felt like I was about, to, like it was about to be my last day on this earth. Um, some may call it dramatic, but as one wise man said, I'm in my body. <laughs> I know something wasn't right so all in all the food uh, I think the food taking a long time to get there so we're like at this point it's like awkward because everybody is like hi but I'm like excruciating high like um at this point the clouds are my home um I can't get you know I'm out of the freaking I'm on Mars. I'm on one of Saturn's rings. And I'm about to explode. 
or implode whatever you want to you know so i'm like what is going on so i'm all in all everybody's like quiet because this is like weird everybody's like looking around like bro like we're high but like i said i was higher because my tolerance is so low to everything so i'm like okay so i take my phone go to google all in all everybody's just sitting there you know chilling i'm like okay no something's off something's not right um i go to google i'm looking i'm like hmm how to come down from a high so it's like it's telling me stuff that i can't do right now like take a I want to say like take a cold or take a warm shower, something like that. I can't take a shower right now. I'm out and about. I'm in public at a restaurant. I'm saying to drink a lot of water, drink coffee. I was like, okay, what is this? Who invented this? Um, so I'm like, okay, bro. I, so I'm just starting to drink my water because I feel so, my mouth is so dry, but like salivating at the same time. Like, tell me that's not weird. Like, how does that happen so i'm like okay hmm something's off so i'm like y'all are y'all like high? i'm asking around i'm like i feel absolutely weird and on the verge of death so can somebody please tell me if they're feeling the same thing because it's normal what's going on so i was like you know i'm i'm chilling i'm wow i'm chilling you know nothing so i get a notification on my watch my apple watch <clears throat> To tell me to breathe so i'm like okay starts breathing or whatever the case start the breathing thing so i do it and then i don't i'm done my little breathing then i get a notification like one to two minutes later i kid you not saying that my heart rate was too high or something something crazy like my watch me like a little noise or not noise like a, um it vibrated so i look at my watch and it's like your heart rate is too high or two and a beats per minute something like this something crazy and i like freak out way more than humanly imaginable like i we're out of public so i'm trying to contain myself but if you were a stranger you would feel like i was being crazy i was going i was going crazy like there's no mm, oh no maybe she's just no i was like bro get me out of this place i'm i'm like crying I'm crying in a public place at a restaurant. I don't know what's going on in my body. I'm like, you know how you, I don't know if this is possible or this is like this for everybody, but when you get high, you get too high. Like, and people say that there's not no such thing as getting too high. You just get high and that's it. No, 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 no. If you don't do something or if you don't do something enough, once you do it, that one time, it's like, it's kind of like working out. If you don't work out every single day and you don't do it regularly or every other day or whatever the case may be and then you work out one day the next day you're gonna be sore you're gonna get like reap the benefits from you know doing that one thing that you don't do every single day or enough <laughs> so i'm like going berserk i'm going wild i'm belligerent i'm going crazy i don't know what's going on so i'm thinking about watching like y'all my thing is like skyrocketing it's so high blah blah blah, blah. i'm like yo tell me what's going on so then it drops first of all i think it was like at 160 something beats per minute and my thing is my beats per minute is not even that high when i'm working out i'm just sitting in a restaurant chilling like nothing is going on and then i'm looking at it, i'm like y'all it's like 100 i'm talking to my friends at the table y'all why is my thing so high and then it dropped drastically to like 50 beats per minute like in a split second so now i'm going like i'll take the roof off the place i'm going crazy i'm screaming crying laughing like what is going on so like my friend amber grabs my watch from across the table off my wrist and it's like no like, i'm turning this off i'm looking at this no more like that's it that's it because at this point like you're scaring yourself you're scaring us like stop and i'm like i can't like something in me i would never do this again like something in me was like bro you about to die like i don't know what else to tell you like here you are and here you'll be gone like that that was it so i'm like okay bro 
this is wild. So let's move on to my story. Move on through the story. So after that, um, I'm like, bro, like we gotta, I'm ready to go. I can't, I can't do this. And so I think the food comes, food came like really, really super duper late. I'm trying to calm down and eat something. Maybe that'll help kind of absorb. You know how you drunk or you drinking and you want to kind of eat like some starchy foods, french fries, tortilla chips, and queso salsa. Something that kind of absorb it. I thought the same thing was going to happen with the high. No. Mm -mm. It didn't happen. It, I feel like it made me worse. It made everything worse. I was like just eating to try to help myself, but... <laughs> I was just so far gone that I was like everything was like I feel like I was seeing stuff like little bubbles in front of me like just floating astronauts how they're in the space shuttle and space and they're like sitting down but they start to like levitate rise that's how I feel I'm sitting in the chair at a restaurant and I don't even feel like I'm sitting down like I feel like there's no like there's no weight holding there's no gravity around me I, I felt so wild but after I had freaked out I was like okay let me try to calm down calm myself down the best way I can I'm like there you go and I, 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 it's taking everything out of me not to just start crying because I felt so bad and I don't know why I didn't say it y'all can you take me to the hospital like I don't know why I didn't say it but <laughs> that's that so I'm like bro it is this my last day here? Where am I going after this? Like, this is my last day. I start to pray in my head. God, like, please forgive me for everything that I've ever done, said, didn't do, didn't say. I know that this is, I know, I know this is my last day here. So, I just want to let you know <laughs> it was wild it was indeed wild like no other I'm like bro what is going on so um after we're done with the food we kind of we pay and kind of hurry up and get out of there because at this point it's like weird it's awkward somebody's talking I'm like looking around at everybody everybody's not even looking at me because I don't know I felt so weird I felt like I was messing everything up but I mean I kind of wanted to laugh a little bit like later on in it because everybody looked really really like disheveled like everybody looked crazy and it was funny to me but I was still really scared so I'm like bro you know what I can't like so we ended up getting up, get up, getting up out of them and we're walking to um, the car or whatever so we can go and bro after that, I mean, me and Molly weren't even at the restaurant for that long. Um, yo, it was just, let me see how long we were there. Told you I got, we got there at 710. We had already left. We're in the car at this point at, let me see, 757. So we were there for a very short amount of time. We ate and like dipped. And I had like a whole panic attack in the restaurant. And I felt like I was about to die. And we did pretty much. So I'm like, what is going on? So we get in the car. Mind you, we're all high. So I get in the front seat. My friend, I don't remember who was in the front. I don't remember who was in the front seat. I think either Tiana or Simone was driving. I think Simone maybe in the front seat driving and then she like pulled over because you can't do that like you can't drive when you high drunk anything it's not permitted you can't do it it's no no I wouldn't no you can't do that that's wild okay so um Simone's in the back seat Emma's in the front seat and she was like y'all I can't do this like don't depend on me I don't want to play with life because like we're all <laughs> crazy at this point so it gets wild i'm like going crazy i don't even know what i'm talking about i'm just talking like baffling and just like just sounded like an idiot i can't so 
that one little rice crispy had us on our butts basically like that, that was wild um so amber's in the front seat she's trying to drive she's like y'all i can't do this like i'm too high somebody else driving whatever or we need to figure out what we need to do because i don't play my life i'll never forgive myself if something like you know something bad would have happened where like if she would have drive and kill us or kill her you know something like that oh, my esophagus starts getting hard and hello <laughs> situation we are wild like that is not funny at all like what so Amber's like going crazy in the front seat like no I can't do this I have a video of like all this I'm gonna include it so you can see exactly what was going on because Simone was recording I'm so happy she was recording she and we have like um just this video in our archives of just crazy moments because this was crazy so yeah we're like going crazy in the car like this is we were but the laughing the, we were laughing so hard it was like contagious everybody anybody could make like a little sound and it'd be so hilarious like it's funny we're like laughing everybody's laughing except for amber who's wanting everybody to calm down tiana's like stressed like oh my god like you know like everybody's like doing different stuff but me simone and tiffany are like the chuckle buddies like we are laughing until there's no more laugh to laugh like crying laughing can't breathe eyes running nose running like laughing so hard and i'll put a couple of the clips in the video so you can kind of see what i mean by the chuckle buddies like it's it, it was contagious like one of us would laugh and then the next two would laugh like hard oh mm. <laughs> Are you crazy? It's probably hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's so hot. I do not believe it. <laughs> <laughs> This is music. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Emma, why are you not laughing? Because I'm trying to calm down. 
<laughs> how do we have? How do we calm ourselves? Is this some water up there? Oh, God. Is someone on the floor? What's my water bottle? Just a man. Shut up. This. Oh my god. Someone's been over now. What's going on? Um, I'm maybe not enough. Who is it? Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> what, bro? Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not laughing about this. My mouth is low. <laughs> why, is, why is this a laughing so contagious? Please, I'm trying to stop laughing. Oh my god. Look at those of <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Tiffany, can you drive? So Tiffany is like, no, like, I can't drive. I don't have my glasses. It's dark outside and I'm hot. Like, no, I don't want, I can't drive. But Tiffany seemed lucid enough or, you know, in her right mind enough where we thought, we thought that she could drive. So we're like, no, Tiffany, like, you know, try to drive. Like, we need to get back to the hotel. We need to get back so we can be safe. And <laughs> it's like wild. Um, so Tiffany gets in there and she like drives and they're like, Victoria, you gotta help her. What? How am I gonna help her? Like, <laughs> I can't do anything. Is this a joke? We have to see, help her because she can't see because she needs like Nobody is like thinking clearly at this point. And how am I, the person who is the highest, gonna help somebody else? Who's so y'all like Tiffany cannot drive. Like this is wild. She doesn't have her glasses. Um, and she's like trying to drive. We're thinking, we're like, oh no, it's okay. Let's try. We're gonna try to drive or whatever. So we're like, okay, I put the address in my GPS. I'm trying to see how long it's gonna take us to get there. Put the address in my GPS, and it says it's gonna take us 30 minutes to get there to the hotel. So I'm like, dang, that's too long. So let me try to look and see if um, it shows us how long it's gonna take us to get there without, uh, with while avoiding highways. I was trying to, I go and look on my GPS. I'm like, okay, let me see how long it's going to take us to get to from point A to point B. Point B being the hotel. See how long it's going to take us to get there if we avoid highways. Um, it, it tells us it's going to take us an hour. 58 minutes to be exact to get to the hotel. So it added an extra 30 minutes for us to get there if we avoid highways. So I'm like, dang, like that's way too long for one to be driving whilst high. And with no glasses, can't see, and it's dark outside. So that's just that's just four reasons not to drive. Okay. So Tiffany's like, no, I think I can drive or whatever. We're trying to pressure Tiffany into driving, being stupid, um, not being in our right head space. Tiffany's like, no, I don't think I can do it. Like this is not. No, I can't see. Yada yada yada. And we're just kind of thinking about let's just try to get to the hotel. We don't think about nothing else but how we get there. Um, so that's, that should tell you something. We're not thinking straight. We're not in our right minds. So Tiffany like puts the car in drive and she drives like a centimeter ahead. She's like, no, I can't do it. I can't. Like, y'all, I'm scared. Something's going to happen. Whatever. I can't do this. So I'm like, oh my God. And they're telling me like to help her see. And I'm like, how is how, how am I, the person who is the highest, going to try to help somebody who can't see for one, um, dark outside who needs glasses doesn't have their glasses and is high as well how am I going to try to help them that doesn't make any sense so I'm like no try to help her and you know keep her in the right lane what what are y'all talking about I'm so confused like this is wild so she drives like a bit, one little centimeter like a foot 
And she said, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. So she pulls over in another parking spot or whatever. And we kind of just park. So then we're like, okay, well, guys, we need to get to the hotel. We can't just sit here all night. So we pick up our phone trying to get an Uber home or to the hotel. Okay. So we look at the Uber and it says it's going to take us, um, it's going to be like 10 minutes or so for the guy to come. And it's $50 to get us from point A to point B, which is that being our hotel. So we're like, no, we're going to make it work. <clears throat> So back to what I was saying because the video, I mean because the camera died and we back, we back, we back, we back, we back, we back. So we're like, bro, like that's a lot of money because if you think about it, we got to pay $50 there and $50 back. So it's like we spent $100 just on Uber because we were dumb enough to go and get that high. But we're like, what other choice do we have? We can't sit in the car until we sober up and then drive. That's ridiculous. Um, which I can't think of. We probably could have done it. Hmm. But we wanted to go home. We wanted to go home. Like it was like at that point we're over it. The day is over. Um, we want to get home and go to sleep. So we pay with the Uber. The Uber picks us up. I don't remember what time or how long it took for the man to get there. Uh, I don't remember. I don't even remember leaving out the car and getting in the car. But I don't think I remember right when he got there. I started. I started throwing up. Like I'm throwing up like violently, and I'm like, bro, what is going on? I feel like I'm drunk. This was not, this is the tea. I was like, bro, what is going on? I'm like, I, I don't get it. I was like, what is going on? What's wrong with my body? I'm just confused. I'm scared. I'm ready to get to the hotel, go to bed. I'm about to force, I was, I was like scared, but I'm like going to force myself to go to sleep when I get to the hotel. So the guy picks us up and we get in the car. I get in the front seat because I want to be able to breathe. I can't breathe. I need my like, um, room and everybody else gets in the back seat. So I'm like, okay, take a nice little ride. I might even fall asleep in this car and this Uber, and then we're gonna go to the hotel, be done. So the, we get in the car. I don't remember what the man, if he said anything or not, but this Uber was probably by far the weirdest Uber in the world of worlds of worlds of Uber, Lyft, and anything else, any other ride share program you ever could even imagine. Like it was psychotic. And if I didn't, if I wasn't gonna die being as high as I was, I would have died in the Uber. This Uber driver, this man, was freaking weird, first off. We get in, and he's like, hey, I don't remember what he said, but we get in, and he takes off. Um, gets on the freeway, and mind you, it takes us 30 minutes to get there. So he's driving, and then I'm sitting in the front seat like this. Like, I'm trying to go to sleep, but he, this man is driving so fast. It's like, where are we trying to go? Are we going to heaven, hell, or anywhere in between? I'm confused. Um... Why are you driving so fast? So I'm like, am I imagining this? Or like, what's going on? So I'm sitting in the um in the in the seat and I'm like, what is going on? So I'm leaning over trying to look at this man's speed, see how fast he's going. Because at this point it's like, what what are you doing? Like, you have five girls in your car in your Uber, and you driving a hundred miles per hour on a freeway. That's nowhere near safe. Like, we're, at this point, we're going to die. So I'm like, bro, what is going on? This man's driving so fast, it doesn't feel like he's driving on the ground. It feels like he's just driving in thin air. I'm like, over at this point. I text the group message that we're in. I'm like, y'all, is it me or is this man really driving, like, really, really fast? So they will take, they text me and they're like, no, dude, like, he's driving really fast. Like, what is going on? So I'm like, bro, like, what are we, why is he driving? Like, we're scared. And then my friend Simone was like, slow down. So I see him in my peripheral, like look in the review mirror and try to see who's talking or whatever. Man did not slow down at all. So I'm like, ah. So we're basically goners, okay? Um, and so Simone's like, slow down. And this man looks in the review mirror once again for the second time. Um does not acknowledge anything or say anything and doesn't slow down. Like I feel, I feel in the car, I feel that like he took his foot off the gas, but it didn't go on the brake. Like he just took it off to kind of, you know, slow down in acceleration or whatever. And then went right back to it. Driving like almost hundred miles per hour on the freeway. So I'm like, is this how people in LA drive or am I just tripping? I'm confused. Man's going fast. So I'm like, okay. Am I being punked? 
Is this like I don't even I don't even know what else to think about this. Like this man was sick, psychotic. So I'm like, oh my god. So I don't know if my friend Simone or another one of my friends started speaking like in Spanish or whatever, because the guy spoke Spanish. Started speaking Spanish to him, was telling him to slow down. I was like, first of all, how do you know those words? Um, secondly, how do you know those are the exact words to tell somebody to slow down? And thirdly, how do you know those words? How do you even know this man is Hispanic? Like, I can't, I can't. So it was like wild, bro. Like, wow. So we finally get to the hotel. Lord have freaking mercy. We finally get to the hotel after all that. And I'm like pissed because this man's driving. Like, my life is at risk at this point in the in the Uber. But we finally get to the hotel and I didn't tip him and none of that. Like that was it. So we finally get to the hotel room and we're like tired, sleepy. We're ready to just kind of get this day over with. At this point, I don't remember what time it was, but it was like pretty late. Um, and we kind of just want to like take a shower and kind of just go to bed and get this day over with so we can wake up early for tomorrow, right? And at this point, we had a um, we had a king size bed in the uh hotel room, so three people could sleep there, which was like Simone, Amber, and Tiana, and then we had a uh, pull out couch, was gonna sit there with me and Tiffany. Um, me and Tiffany about to get on the pull out mattress or whatever the case and we pull out the thing and there's like a used tampon underneath so I'm like at this point can somebody just kill me at this point I would have just rather died okay back in the car um this is wild like we can't even relax I thought like that was God punishing us honestly for or punishing me for that matter for doing something like that cause like all these, uh, ch this chain of events just led up to like this. <sighs> like what? So, I'm, at this point, I'm like hysterical. I'm pissed off. And at this point, my high is like coming down a little bit, but I'm still there. I'm like pissed. I call the people. I'm like, oh, hell no. We got to get out of here. I don't do that stuff in the hotel. And this was like the Hilton, I want to say, or something like that. Hilton and Marriott, one of them. I'm like, bro, like, what is up with y'all? Like, I can't do this. I can't. So we go and get a new room. Um, we all take showers and kind of go to bed after that. And that was pretty much the end of it. But that was the day that I was like, legit, about to die. Hi. Um, but yeah, that was my story time and my Chick Fil A mukbang. So yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video. Share it on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you want to do. Um, my Instagram and my other social medias will be on the description box below. And don't forget to follow me on those. And peace out.